You're welcome once again to the Law Challenge 2019, and it's the maiden edition. We are still in the preliminary stages. The Law Challenge. Speaking. Right. So, in the Law Challenge or on the Law Challenge, what do we do? Bring the law to your homes. Get you to also partake in the fragrance of the law, as we say here. Today, we are doing the third of the competitions, and it is between the Central University Law Faculty and the University of Professional Studies Law Faculty. I'm your host, Samson Ladi Anyanini, and let's get to know those gentlemen and ladies who are representing the law faculties that are doing the battle today. Let's start with UPSA. I'm James Samporeku, law right. faculty, UPSA. I'm Nana Ohime Yeboa Odefo, UPSA. I'm Nila Ifeo Benedict, UPSA. Let's also get to know who represents the Central University Faculty of Law. I am Ernest Kofi Boateng, Central University Faculty of Law. I'm Patrick Okradanso, Central University Faculty of Law. I'm James Makion Debra, Central University Faculty of Law. A round of applause for them. <laughs> so, it is presumed irrebuttably that you are ready to deal with the first round of this stage, the preliminary stages. And in the first round, it's all rounded questions, questions from anywhere as far as the law is concerned. You know that on the law challenge, we deal with matters of contract, criminal law, constitution, thoughts, company law, equity and succession, and what have you. This is how we start. And in the first round, or round one, the rules are very simple. And I repeat them for your consumption. There are five questions that each team will be asked to answer. And you give your answers within 30 seconds per question. If you get your answer correct, you earn 10 marks. Now, if you are unable to answer the question correctly, it will be passed on to the next team. And they have 15 seconds instead of 30 to do that. And in executing a correct answer, they get half of the mark. That is five marks. Are you ready? Yeah. University of Professional Studies Law Faculty. The judiciary shall consist of the superior course of judicature and such lower courts or tribunal as parliament may by law establish. Can you name the courts that form the superior courts of judicature in Ghana? Your legal systems. Yeah. Legal methods. Yes? Nilai. Yeah. Yeah. The first one is the Supreme Court. Second, the Court of Appeal. The third, 
the high courts, and, 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 the, and the fourth one is the regional tribunals. Excellent. A round of applause for him. Now, Central University Faculty of Law, what do you understand by what we mean jurisdiction of a court? The jurisdiction of a court can be manifested in a number of ways. What do we mean when we say a court's jurisdiction? Um, when we say a yes, court, when we um, talk about the jurisdiction of a court, then obviously there is a power emanating from a law, specifically perhaps from the constitution, for the court to adjudicate on that matter or cause. That's one way by which we mean jurisdiction. What else? You still have some time. It could also be the proper forum to hear a case. All right, you've been bailed out. And out of the 10 marks, I regret that I can only offer you three. <laughs> the jurisdiction of a court is manifested in several ways. Geographical area over which a particular court has been given power by law to administer justice. It is also the power given to a court to determine monetary claims up to a specific amount of money. It is also the power given to the court by law to try cases of particular nature or particular class. It is also the qualification of the members and quorum of the courts, and it is the power given to a court to give specific orders or impose particular sanctions. It is the jurisdiction of a court that determines which court can try murder, which court criminally can try rape or defilement, and so on and so forth. So, I must be very benevolent to have awarded you three marks out of the 10. <laughs> now to UPSA Faculty of Law. Justice delayed is justice denied. That's very popular. You're aware of that, are you not? Yes, yes. Although there is the other side of the coin, that justice hurried is justice buried. This particular statement, justice delayed, is justice denied. It's also stated as justice is sweet when it is swift. In which case, a case that took about 26 years to complete, the justice at that day lament about this situation in his judgment. Is it acquitted and AG? Unfortunately, no. So that question goes to the Central University Faculty of Law for the prospects of a bonus, mark of five. In which case did Justice Adade lament about this kind of delay being denial of justice? Okay. The answer is Edu versus Treme. And in most his recent history, Chief Justice Georgina Wood has had to lament about one other case that took odd 40 odd years to determine. So to your substantive question, Central University Faculty of Law, what are the sources by which a court gets its jurisdiction in Ghana. The sources by which a court gets its jurisdiction in Ghana. Yes, Kofi Boating. The court gets its jurisdiction from the 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana and the Court Act. The 1992 Constitution of the Republic of Ghana and the Court Act. Yes, Is that all? Legislations. Sorry? Any other legislations? Any other legislations. And that is a complete answer. 
to the UPSA Faculty of Law. Still talking about jurisdiction. What is the jurisdiction of the Supreme Court of Ghana? The there Supreme are two hands. So which, which one of you am I calling? Okay, so ni lai if you. Yeah, the Supreme Court has many jurisdictions. Among these are the general jurisdiction, the appellate jurisdiction, the supervisory jurisdiction, and the production of documents. This four. And uh, yes, the supervisory jurisdiction, the general jurisdiction, the appellate jurisdiction, and the exclusive jurisdiction. Thank you very much. Please, a round of applause for him. So even though you introduced the general jurisdiction, you seem to have corrected yourself by the introduction of the exclusive. The Supreme Court has exclusive original jurisdiction in all matters relating to the enforcement or interpretation of the Constitution and all matters arising as to whether an enactment was made in excess of the powers conferred on Parliament or any other authority or person by law under the Constitution. The appellate jurisdiction from the Court of Appeal and appeals from the National House of Chiefs. The supervisory jurisdiction over all courts in Ghana. So, in as much as I expected your answer to be this detailed, and I got you mentioning supervisory, supervisory jurisdiction, appellate jurisdiction, without further explanations, I think you should be deserving of eight of the ten marks. <laughs> now to Central University Law Faculty. Still talking about jurisdiction. What is the jurisdiction of the High Court in Ghana? Um, the, High yes, Court, the High Court in Ghana, as provided for in the Constitution, has exclusive jurisdiction in fundamental human rights issues. They also... The, the original exclusive jurisdiction of the fundamental human rights and appeals from the low, from the district courts or other the lower courts. Are you done? Okay, you have been bailed out, and you have yourself. You have been bailed out, and you yourself have paused speaking. That is a nice attempt, but unfortunately, that is not worthy of ten marks. The high courts has original jurisdiction in all civil and criminal matters. And such original appellate and other jurisdiction as may be conferred on it by the Constitution or any other law. Jurisdiction to enforce the fundamental human rights and freedoms enshrined in Chapter 5 of the 1992 Constitution. Appellate jurisdiction over all criminal matters emanating from the circuit courts and all appeals from the district courts, juvenile courts, and family tribunals. Supervisory jurisdiction over all lower courts. To this extent, I think you succeeded in hinting at only one of the jurisdictions correctly. As to the appellate jurisdiction in respect of matters from the district, and you also mentioned circuit court, if you did. In that regard, you can only be entitled to two of the ten marks. <laughs> now to UPSA Faculty of Law. What is the qualification for membership of the Supreme Court of Ghana as a judge? Yes, Phil. Yeah, as a supreme, before you, a, a person can become a Supreme Court judge, first and foremost, you should be of, uh, you should be 15 years at the bar, you should be of a, a person of high moral standard, 
And then you shouldn't be also, you shouldn't be, there shouldn't be any finding that have been fined against you, or you shouldn't be convicted by any competent court of jurisdiction. Or you shouldn't have been imprisoned before. And the age of, it should be of the age of. I'm sorry, but we are done. You were right, except that I was expecting precision from you. When you moved on from the number of years that you should be at the bar. But remember that it is only not the number of years as mere numbers. Good standing, 15 years, must be of high moral character and proving integrity. On that score, because of the lack of precision, you will be deserving of five marks. Now to Central University Faculty of Law. A person who is arrested, restricted, or detained for the purpose of bringing him or her before a court or upon reasonable suspicion of his having committed or about to commit a criminal offense under the laws of Ghana and who is not released shall be brought before a court within what period of time? Within, within 48 hours. Within 48 hours. A round of applause <laughs> for that answer without missing words. UPSA, Faculty of Law, Chapter 6 of the Constitution, 1992, contains articles 34 to 41, and it provides for, or what is that chapter headed? Yes? The Directive Principles of State Policy. The Directive Principles of State Policy. That is a correct answer. <laughs> and to your very final question, Central University Faculty of Law, state the prerogative rights or orders of the Supreme Courts. Um, Sesurari, mandamus, coaranto, habeas corpus, and prohibition. That is excellent. <laughs> of course, for the full max. So this brings us to the end of the first round in the preliminary stages. Here's innovation from Goyle that takes you further. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 tubes have been expertly crafted with the latest in liquid engineering technology, highly advanced for modern engines, prolongs oil change intervals, save you fuel, clean, protect and enhance engine performance. The way engines work has become complex and Goyle has innovated to stay ahead with expertly crafted lubricants that work excellently with all petrol and diesel engines of today. New Goyle Super Synthetic 5W20 and 5W30 News. Innovation that takes you further. Goyle. Good energy. Welcome back to the Law Challenge. And at the end of the first round in this preliminary stage, in the context between Central University Faculty of Law and UPSA Faculty of Law, here are the results. Very close. UPSA, 33 points. And Central University, 35 points. We shall now move swiftly into round two, and this is the buzzer round. We will deal with criminal law, contract, torts, company law, the Ghana legal system. But this is the round in which I attempt a description, 
and your job is to tell me who I am describing or what I am describing. You have six questions. And in this round, you have 30 seconds to a question. If you answer correctly, you get 10 marks. But if you answer wrongly, incorrectly, five marks will be deducted from your marks. Meaning you ought to proceed with caution and care. If a team presses the buzzer before the questioning is over, I will simply pause and give you the opportunity to answer that question. So if a team presses the buzzer, before I am through with the question, I will simply pause and give you the opportunity to attempt the answer. If you don't get it correct, then it gets passed on. Central University, this is how to call my attention. Great. And UPSA, this is how to call my attention. Right. Now, here we go. I am a statement or conduct indicating a willingness UPSA offer that is correct so I'll complete I'll complete my statement I am a statement or conduct indicating a willingness to contract on terms stated or on terms which can reasonably be inferred from conduct and made with the intention that it will become binding as soon as I am accepted. In NTAC Limited versus Yarenchi, the court defined me as an indication in words or by conduct by a person that he or she is prepared to be bound by a contract in the terms expressed. I am to be definite and final and must not leave significant terms open for further suggestion. And I must say, UPSA, that was rather too fast and quick. <laughs> I am one of the elements of a valid contract. Are you pressing the buzzer? No. <laughs> I am part of the code indivisible trinity and quotes a promise yes coffee button consideration that is correct <laughs> so i'll continue i am one of the elements of a valid contract i am part of the quote indivisible trinity and quotes a promise generally is not binding unless I have been given in return. I am the reason for the enforceability of promises as contracts. Over the years, a number of rules have been developed by common law to govern my application. In Ghana, significant inroads in the rules governing me at common law have been made in an act of parliament who am I? And you have so excellently responded with an answer. I am a common law principle in that a person cannot be entitled to enforce or be bound by the terms of a contract to which he is not a party. Central, Central University. Kofi Boateng. Privity of contract. Privity of contract. And that is correct. All right, so let's continue and stay within the area that you guys appear to be so familiar with. I am a statement of intention which are only intended to solicit or attract offers from other persons. UPSA Invitation Faculty of treat. Law. Invitation to treat. That is correct. So I will complete that statement. I am a statement of intention which are only intended to solicit or attract offers from other persons and are not intended to result in any immediate binding obligation. I was discussed extensively in NTAC Limited versus Yaren Chi by the Supreme Court of Ghana. My acts are seen by way of display of goods, circulation of brochures, 
or handbills. Placement of advertisements announcing or publicizing the availability of the goods or services and providing information about them. My intention is to solicit offers from potential customers. And you got that so right. Privity invitation to treat. Now to our fifth scenario. And still staying in the area that you have shown a lot of promise and understanding. I am a reply or a response to an offer. Central University Faculty of Law, Kofi Boateng. Acceptance. Yes, UPSA. Acceptance. Very unfortunate, but both of you are not correct. If you'll exercise a little patience, you will know exactly who I am talking about. I am a reply or a response to an offer which varies the terms of the offer or introduces terms different from those indicated in the offer. At least if you had waited up to this point, you would have been absolutely sure of what you had to talk about. I constitute a rejection of the original offer, and that is too much information, and amount to the making of a new offer, and that is taking you beyond even giving an answer. I operate to destroy or nullify the original offer such that it cannot subsequently be accepted. So, acceptance, acceptance, nullified. Mm -hmm. I was applied in the Ghanaian case of Digbe versus Sincia <laughs> and another. I simply am counter offer, as all of you are clear by now. But still, a round of applause to you. So now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Central University Faculty of Law and UPSA Faculty of Law, Shall we get to our very final matter in this second round? I form an important part of the common law as received in Ghana. As part of the common law, I play an important role within the legal system. I am described as the tendency on the part of the courts to follow earlier decisions. Central University, Kofi Boateng. Starry decisis. Kofi Boateng, you are correct, but in the end, you will hear the specific expression or phrase that I required. I form an important part of the common law as received in Ghana. As part of the common law, I play an important role within the legal system. I am described as a tendency on the part of the courts to follow earlier decisions where the facts in the instant case are similar to one already decided. I am referred to in Latin as star decisis. Therefore, I am judicial precedent. But like I said, you express judicial precedent in Latin. So you are absolutely correct for the full marks. <laughs> and that will bring us to the end of this rather interesting round. The law challenge. So at the end of the second round, UPSA managed 15 points. The Central University managed 25 points. So first and second round results put together, UPSA stands at 48 points, while the Central University 
stands at 60 points. A round of applause for all of them. You're welcome to the third round of the contest for today between the Central University and UPSA Faculties of Law. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the contestants once again. And in this round, the rules are very simple. You will identify three quotations, quotations associated with law, and you will be asked to identify one personality. You may be asked to identify the quotation who it is attributed to and in which case or judgment it can be found. And later, we'll ask you to identify one personality within the legal fraternity. You have 20 seconds to deliver on this job. You gain 15 marks for a correct answer, but the questions are non-transferable in this round. So shall we get ready, UPSA and Central University Faculties of Law? Um, this time, who should I start with? With the Central University um, Faculty of Law. In the Ghanaian case of Neoplan versus Harmony Construction. Which judge is this statement attributed to? Ownership and abatement is not transferred. It is only possession that is transferred. Justice Duchi. I'm sorry, that is not correct. It is Justice Benin. Justice Benin. Justice Benin. UPSA Faculty of Law, it's your turn. Who said this? I conceive that land belongs to a vast family of whom many are dead. A few are living and countless hosts are still unborn. Yes. Olenu. That is incorrect. Not Justice Olenu. Justice Aban. I'm sorry. That is also incorrect. And the answer is Nana Se Ufori Atta. Now to you, Central University Faculty of Law. Who made this statement? And in which case? Here in Ghana, the Contracts Act has changed the law with a fanfare of trumpets and has made it clear that third parties, not parties to a contract, can sue but if and only if and when the contract purports to confer a benefit on that third party. Who is speaking and in which case? Which case? I'm sorry. Archer J. In Koa versus Royal Exchange Assurance. Now to UPSA Faculty of Law. False imprisonment is a complete deprivation of liberty for any time, however short, so long as it is without lawful excuse. Who made this statement and in which case? Yes, James. Um, Bed versus Jones. Right, TJ. Come again. Bed versus Jones, Justice mm -hmm. Wright. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sarkodie J in Apia versus Mensa. Did I hear somebody in the audience say that Apia versus Mensa? Okay, I heard something like that. Central University Faculty of Law. The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. All persons must look at it and adjust their actions accordingly. Who is speaking in which case? MPP versus IGP. 
who is speaking and in which case? I'm sorry. Pega JSC in Yeboa versus Mensa. Sorry, you said, hey, what's, what happened? You remembered? Okay. To UPSA Faculty of Law, the Constitution, still talking Constitution, the Constitution being the fundamental law must be interpreted not according to the intention of the framers, but according to the conditions which are necessary to carry into effect its objectives and purpose. Who is speaking? Yes, James. Justice Aparu. Wrong. Yes, at the day. At the day. I'm sorry. All attempts false. Azu Crab. Now here is the opportunity to tell whether you have been visiting our courts and therefore might be familiar with the law lords, with the judges, with those who sit on the wool sack. You simply look at the screen and tell me who it is or whose image you see. And Central University Faculty of Law. Yes, Okra. Sophia Edinira, yes. That is correct, Sophia Edinira. UPSA Faculty of Law. Look on the screen and identify that image. Who is that? Who is that? Bamford Ado. No? You are close. Unfortunately. There is a Bamfo, but it's not a fort. Yes, you guys know? Vida Akoto Bamfo, GSC. Vida Akoto Bamfo. But it's not transferable. Thank you very much. And that is where we end this round. The Lord challenge. 
Welcome back to the very final round in this preliminary contest between the UPSA and Central University Faculties of Law. And at the end of the third round, UPSA did not get anything. I mean, recorded in front of UPSA is zero. Central University managed 15 points. So from the first, second, and third rounds all put together, UPSA is still at 48 points, while Central University is marching on with 75 points. A round of applause for them. Now let's proceed to the very final round, and this is the fourth round known as the rapid fire round. I say this is the round that brings salvation even to the dying, and you just might get salvation. In this round, I donate 120 seconds. To you and to you, all you do with it is tell me whether the statement I read out is true or false. And you get 10 of such statements. You're doing all, answering all that within 120 seconds. And during the 120 seconds, if you had asked me to skip, a question, you still have the opportunity to answer it if your 10 questions are exhausted and your 120 seconds remain not exhausted. If we are clear, then shall we get on the road? This time, starting with you, UPSA, and who have you nominated to be the one to speak for you on this round? Because you have to nominate someone who will lead your team. So, James is leading UPSA. All right, James, let's get going. According to Article 117 of the 1992 Constitution, a parliamentarian can be said with a civil or criminal process on his way to parliament. True or false? False. That is false. Ghana's first chief justice was in the person of... Um, Sir Kwabina Akokosa, true or false? True. That is true. According to Article 57.5 of the 1992 Constitution, the president shall not be liable for any civil or criminal offense while in office. True or false? True. That is true. According to Article 280, Clause 3, the government is expected to issue a white paper after a commission of inquiry has presented its proposals to it for constitutional amendment after six months. True or True. false? True. A witness before a commission of inquiry is entitled to the same immunities and privileges as if he were a witness before the high court, according to Article 283 of the 1992 Constitution. True, True or false? True. That is true. According to Article 276 of the Constitution, a chief can take part in active party politics. True or false? false. That is false. The 1992 Constitution was, was gazetted on 15 January 1992. True or false? False. That is false. A district chief executive appointed by the president shall be approved by one-third majority of the members of uh, the assembly present and voting at a meeting true or false? false that is false elections to the district assembly shall be held every four years according to article 246 of the constitution true or false true. that is true a political party may endorse sponsor offer a platform to or in any way, campaign for a candidate seeking election to a district assembly. True or false? True. That is false.
How many questions did we do? Ten. Ten exactly. And you missed only one? Or two? Only one. That's excellent. It is the turn of the Central University Faculty of Law. Some bit of constitution once again, and also because you are studying your legal systems, you are doing your legal methods. So, your time starts now. Article 2661 states that no interest in or right over any land in Ghana shall be created which vests in a person who is not a citizen of Ghana a freehold interest in any land in Ghana. True or false? True. True. Article 2663 stipulates a specific date in which a person who is not a citizen of Ghana having a freehold interest or right over any land in Ghana, such interest in or right shall be deemed to be a leasehold for a period of 50 years at a peppercom rent. True, true or false? That is true. Article 2671 of the 1992 Constitution stipulates that all stool lands in Ghana shall be vested in the appropriate stool on or behalf of and in trust for the subjects of the stool in accordance with customary law and usage. True, True or false? True. True. Article 2675 of the Constitution prohibit grants of freehold in stool lands. True or false? True. That is true. Specific performance will be granted a minor where the minor has performed his part of the contract as was held in Latte versus Bannerman. True. True or false? True. Felt House versus Bendley is the authority for the principle that an offeror cannot impose silence as a form of acceptance on an offeree. True. That is true. The specific performance is available where the remedies at law are inadequate. True or false? True. That is true. The equitable maxim that was espoused in the case of Welsh versus Lonsdale was equity regards done which ought to be done. True. true or false? That is true. The president is the fount of honor. The constitution seeks to maintain that all dignity and majesty that surrounds the office and insulate it as far as possible from the humdrum of legal proceedings. This statement was made in the case of Salah versus Attorney General. True or false? True. That is true. Thank you very much. That, ladies and gentlemen, bring us to the end of the fourth and final round in the contest, in the preliminaries between Central University and UPSA Faculties of Law. So at the end of the fourth round, which is the very final round in this preliminary stages in the contest between Central University and UPSA faculties, UPSA had 45 points and Central University also 45 points. The cumulative points scored by both teams, UPSA, 93, Central University, 120. So the winner 
of this contest is the Central University. Congratulations. So in the final analysis and moving forward in this contest, we go into the semi-final stage. And those contesting in the semi-final stages are King's College versus the University of Ghana and Central University versus the University of Cape Coast. And the Lord Challenge is brought to you by the kindest sponsorship of Alisa Hotels, EPP Book Services, Discover the World of Books, Note Cosmetics, WebSys Technology, The Web Guys, Busy, Great Things Happening, Logistic Movers, We Help You Relocate, Goyle, Good Energy, Ever Pure, Always Ever Pure, Ever Refreshing. Agate Enterprise and Transport Services, and of course, Media General. You can visit or connect with the Law Challenge on Instagram at Law Challenge GH, on Twitter at the Law Challenge, and on Facebook, the Law Challenge. The Law Challenge. So until we come your way next time, keep enjoying the fragrance of the law.